Manchester by Nancy Soderberg, the former National Security Advisor to President Clinton as U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. She was responsible for negotiating the last Israeli withdrawal from Lebanon in 2000. Nancy Soderberg, what do you make of this news that's just coming in about the uh, Israeli attack, which appears, according to the U.N., to have killed four U.N. peacekeepers? Well, it's a tragedy, no question about it. But you have to remember that these peacekeepers have been on the front lines for decades. Uh, listening to the debate, you wouldn't even know that they've been there. You've got 2,000 Israeli peace, uh, UN peacekeepers on the border. Over 400 have died in the course of the UN's most de uh, dangerous mission. Uh, it's a tragedy, but unfortunately, I don't think it's going to fundamentally change the course of events on the ground there. Uh, that's only going to be solved by negotiations, which are a uh, tough road ahead. OK, well, let's just look at those questions of negotiations. Uh, all the foreign ministers meeting in Rome tomorrow. Is there realistically any possibility of any sensible proposal emerging from that meeting? I think there is. Um, Secretary Rice is... Uh, engaging in the classic lowering of expectations uh, game and I think she's right to do that. Uh, there's a lot of tough issues, a lot of divisions. You'll see a several step process come out. There will not be a call for a ceasefire because the U.S. and Israel is going to insist that there cannot be a return to the status quo ante, that status quo ante where is Israel is threatened by an armed militant terrorist group, Hezbollah, right on its borders. That has to change. The only way that's going to change is to get the Arab leaders to sit on Syria in particular and eventually Iran as well, to disarm and move that group away from southern Lebanon and ultimately disarm it. That's a longer term process than this one meeting in Rome is going to achieve. And uh, presumably this uh, latest attack upon the UN in southern Lebanon is going to make any Western country which might have been thought of as a possible candidate to provide Israeli, bu uh, bu Israeli buffer force <laughs> much less attractive, eh? Exactly. And I think that this, this talk of a peacekeeping force is a bit of a fiction to begin with. No force, including NATO, is going to be willing to go into southern Lebanon and finish the job the Israelis are attempting to do. A peacekeeping force can serve a useful function, but as the death of the UN peacekeepers today demonstrate, unless there's a peace to keep, they are just sitting ducks in a cross Fire. They shouldn't be there now. They, shouldn't, they should have been withdrawn. It is not safe for them to be there. Once Hezbollah is disarmed, moved from that region, then you can put in a peacekeeping force, and it, it will have to have some fighting capabilities as well. Um, only then will you have a peacekeeping force. There's a lot of loose talk about that. The best that can come out of this negotiation is an agreement that it is not okay to have Hezbollah continue a presence in southern Lebanon, an agreement to disarm them, a extension of the Lebanese forces to the south, and then you can talk about a peacekeeping force. The other issues, um, no one's talking about the Palestinian crisis, which started all of this issue, and the longer-term comprehensive peace for Israel and its neighbors are going to be, have to put on the back burner until this settles down. And the uh, talk that Condoleezza Rice has been going in for of re-engineering the Middle East, uh, what do you make of that? Well, it's a great goal, but it's uh, pretty hard to accomplish. Uh, you know, they went into Iraq promoting democracy and the region and peace between the Arabs and the Palestinians. That hasn't worked too well. One of the criticisms of this administration is that they have not been engaged enough in the search for peace in the Middle East. Now, certainly there was no partners in the Palestinians over the last five years, but there could have been a process to keep some semblance of hope. There should have been a lot more pressure on, on Syria and, and Iran to shut down Hezbollah. This has been going on for the six years since Israel has withdrawn from Lebanon. There's a lot of fiction surrounding the fact that Israel hasn't withdrawn from uh, Lebanon when, in fact, it fully has. And all of those issues need to be pushed. Better late than never, the uh, United States is still the, the superpower. And when it talks, people follow. So it's great that she's out there and they've got their work cut out okay. for them. Nancy Soderbergh, thank you for joining us. My pleasure.